How's it going everyone? The Trout91 here for a special commentary. It's been a while since I've done one of these, but it's that time of the year. It's New Year's very, very soon. Some of you, it might already be New Year's, who knows, but I did this last year. It was my, what I learned from 2012 and I'm doing it this year again, what I learned in 2013, so it was a bit of a unusual year it was quite a roller coaster year if i have to say so i mean since about three years ago when i started uni you know right about the time i turned 18 and i kind of realized that you know life isn't gonna i i, was, I kind of lived in like a bubble almost i felt a bit sheltered and uh things were just kind of handed to me on a plate and it was time for me to go out there and do things for myself and since then it's it's been an interesting it's been kind of one of those things i'm not quite sure where i've been going or how i've been doing but after all of it i've kind of figured out how it is and i feel i'm i've come a long way from that awkward 18 year old boy who uh first came onto the youtubes and stuff like that and it's been an, quite an interesting ride, and I'm so glad that you guys have been here throughout the entire thing. For those of you, the few still remaining, but let's not delay any longer. Let's get on with it. So around December, around New Year's, you know, things were... I was feeling really bad. I was in a lot of pain, you know. Uh, I told you about in my Life Goes On video about, you know, people who had hurt me in the past. And uh, I was just kind of getting to a place where I was okay with it. I was getting by, and, you know... It's the new year started off pretty decently for me, but overall the the atmosphere of it just felt really bad, and I just wasn't in a good place. And into February, March is kind of continuing on in that kind of mood, and I was forcing myself to do something I wasn't liking, which was YouTube. I just didn't like the people involved in YouTube at that point, and there's a lot of people I'm still not big fans of, but. The whole thing's kind of become a monopoly game, and uh, who's got the bigger dick, basically. It's, it's not my cup of tea right now. I like doing it for fun, that's why I started it, for fun and for giggles. But I realised kind of what I liked, what I was enjoying at the time was, you know, competitive gaming and lots of, you know, socialising in the kind of competitive area of Call of Duty and talking to people who I've known for a while but have never really gotten involved with and... You know, I went to a couple of gaming events that were for competitive gaming, uh, like iSeries, EGL, etc. And I, you know, I put myself out there. I got out there, I met people, I talked to people, I made so many new friends, I'd go the extra mile for them, and I, I made friends. Um, I just had a good time, you know, went out there, met people, started to look at life a little bit differently, and got into a more positive place. And I realized also that my priorities needed to change i was coming to the end of uni i need to think what i want to do with my life and i realized from like the second year of uni that i want to do something in gaming and i pretty much sacked off my entire uh, degree because that is what i wanted to do and this is where all my focus was was on youtube especially at the time but it kind of hit me that i needed to go full at it so i went at it Apply for job after job after job after job. Even I mean, I could be the community manager for Lionhead or Square Enix right now if they didn't turn me down. But those are the kind of jobs that I applied for. And, you know, it's okay. I'm happy with the fact where I am now. I'm absolutely 100% happy where I am. I probably couldn't ask for a better job in a million years. And, you know, in the April, June, July time, I kind of gave up on uh, YouTube and... I started talking to my, who is now my boss, you know, one of my good friends, Paul, who I'd got onto events with and met previously at things like Cod XP and stuff like that. And he was like, oh, do you want to cast League of Legends? I was like, sure, I'll cast League of Legends. You know, I'm just getting into it, so might as well give it a go. I had a pretty decent commentary, I thought, at least. And I had a couple of people who met me a couple of months later saying, you know what, for a new commentator, you did a really good job. And I was like, thank you. But... You know, they saw how helpful I was around the venue when things were kind of going tits up for them at that point, and they all started to see that, you know, when they needed someone to produce content for them and help them editing and stuff like that, they needed someone like me, so they came to me, offered me the job, and, you know, as soon as that happened, basically my life started going up, I started getting all sorts of things coming back to me, lots of positive stuff, met some amazing people, met one very special amazing person who knows who she is, and things just started getting good and since then it's been a lot of hard work a lot of time I've had to put into this and that's why I've not been so active on YouTube is because I'm working so much and putting so much effort and energy into it that I barely have time to you know eat well that's, that's a lie but it's been a lot of 
effort and graft and that's another thing that I've learned this year is you know graft will go a long way and it's it's been fun and it's been good and for those of you who kind of just didn't really get what the points were of that whole story it's basically the first one that I've learned is you know, no matter how bad things seem right now they will eventually get better if you just give it some time and patience I know how painful it can be trust me to wait and to wait and wait and feel like it's never gonna come but eventually if you put yourself out there enough times it will eventually come you just have to be patient and as strong as possible never force yourself to do something that you don't want to do because you will find something that you love and you want to go for it and you should go for it if you find something you love and are so dedicated to and so motivated to do like I did that it will eventually come to you if you just put yourself out there and you go for it with all guns blazing third one is always help a friend in need because they will pay you back if you go the extra mile for them they'll go for the the extra mile for you and there's there's a friend is worth more th to you than any amount of you know possession or money or anything like that because of what they can do for you is phenomenal and when you find that something great when you find something great you know cherish it don't let it go put as much graft into it as you possibly can and go for it because you know one day you could wake up and it's all gone and you'll be sitting there and regret wondering what could I have done differently to make something you know a different ending of it all but those are my points for the year that's what I've learned this year let me know what you've learned this year and what your new year's resolution is if you have one I'd really like to hear it and I hope you have a good new year's and start off 2014 in a great way I'll see you later peace out